So in the last video, we have completed the array section in Solidity Smart Contract. So if you haven't watched, I'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. In this video, we're going to learn about NM, what it is and how you can define into your smart contract, what is the structure and how you can keep the track of the entire data which you want to specify in the contract. So that's going to be the topic of this video and NM stand for innumerable, innumerable. So this kind of question can, might be asked in the interview. So let's see the practically that how we can do it. We have to provide the General configuration so solidity license identifier we have to provide the solidity version and let's create a contract and we're going to call it enum inside that we're going to define our exact enum so let me give this comment let's define the enum so this is how you define you give your name enum and you can give this name of this enum whatever you want it could be hey okay but here i'm going with the status because i want to create an enum of a shipping so just imagine that i'm curating contract and that contract will keep the track of a shipping of a product so there will have a multiple data it will have a pending cancel arrive accept reject so let's create that data so we'll call it pending shipped accept reject and cancel this is going to be our enum and let's come here so whenever you define enum the default value is going to be the first element but that's how exactly it's worked so let's create a variable status public status and that's how we refer our enum and here what i'm going to do is let me show you returns the unts pending is going to be the zero because the default value of the enum is going to be zero and it's just like an index so we have array in that we have this indexing system in the same way we have indexing system in enum so the second one will have this ship one except two reject three and cancel is going to be four so it's fine now let's create a function we'll call it get public view return and in that we want to return the status so what we have to do is let's create a return status so that's the simple function so this will give us the status so can you guess what status will get when we'll call this function just think about it let's write the code so let's come here so now let's update the status because the default value of the status is going to be obviously pending so let's update that so we'll create a function we'll call it set status and that we're going to take the status public and in that we're going to call it status equal to status and that's it and that we have to pass the index the status we want to confirm because you need the pending we have zero except we have one so that's the index we have to provide so this is the so let's come here let's create a function we'll call it cancel and this is how you can update the status so we'll say status is going to this cancel so if you want to cancel that entire order you can call this cancel method oh sorry <laughs> cancel enum and this will change the state so by default we have by default we have this pending but when someone will call the cancel this function it will update to cancel and if you want to update to other like accept reject you can simply pass the index in the set function and that will update the status so that's the pretty simple thing here let's come here let's create another function and this is one is a very important because when you delete an enum it will reset the value to zero so let's see in the code so we'll call it reset public and in that we want to take this delete status so when you do that it will delete the status so that's the simple smart contract we have written about the enum hope this makes sense to all of you and how we are accessing different variables in each of these functions so now let's test this contract in the remix id here you can see we have the entire smart contract for the enum and we have all these three functions so what we can do is let's come here let's come to the deploy sections and you can see this is the contract we have now click on this deploy and here the contract is got deployed if you click on this enum here you will find this five functions so first thing we have to do is if you really want to access the set so in the set so let me do one thing what i can do is here we have made this public so let's check the default value that what default data we get from here if we click on the status we'll have this zero because this is the indexing zero this one is the first one pending and now what i want if i want to simply call this one because i want to target this shipped if i call this set the transaction went successful if i click on this i'll get this one so you can see we are updating based on the index so it's just like an array and the way we have access array into a big array by providing the index in the same way we can access all this data 
by its index so it's working absolutely fine so now if i call this get method i will get the status so here i can come i can call get and here you can see this is one that means the shipped and it's working fine if you call the set we have already used the set method if we call this cancel so let's do one thing let's click on this cancel and the transaction read successful if we call on this status it will be zero and that's what we have provided here zero so we have checked this function now what we can do let's do the reset so if i want to reset the entire data by its default i can do it very easily click on this reset and the transaction with successful and now you can click on the status and you can see we have this default value so hope this makes sense to all of you guys array act like an indexing so if you want to access any variable into these data you can provide this index so this one is zero one two three and four and on the base of this indexing you can easily able to build the logic which you want to build you can display the message that the, the your transaction is got approved or reject a huge string you can display by taking this indexing value based on this enum so hope this makes sense if you have still any confusion make sure to rewatch the video and do leave in the comment that what is the problem you are having what is the difficulty you are having i'll try to solve in that with that let's move to the next video